Mark Kukureya. Arguably one of the left backs in the Premier League. Known for his luscious locks and his, um, his, uh, his, um... There is only one thing harder than winning the Ballon d'Or, and that is watching Mark Kukureya play. So there is no candidate better than the Spanish spunk lord himself to transform into the biggest superstar on the planet. Starting off as a 79 overall bench member of Mauricio Pochettino's Chelsea squad, our first challenge is to crack the starting lineup. And there's no better way of proving yourself than creating quality goal scoring opportunities off the bench. Here we go, chuck it here. Kukureya! I don't know how that shot missed. They must have had magnets in the ball. Okay. Seems like this might be a little harder than I anticipated. Due to the club's phenomenal play a season ago, we do not have any European football this season. So what we will be attempting to win is the poor man's treble. In order to win this treble, we must win three separate English trophies. These consist of the EFL trophy, the FA Cup, and finally, the Premier League title. Winning all three of these titles will give us and Mark Kukurea the best shot at winning the Ballon d'Or. And it all starts with our first EFL trophy match against the Bolton Wanderers, a third division English side. It is vital that we decide Display some of our Kukureya class and put the rest of the country on notice. Bang! Oh, damn! You don't see Trent Alexander Arnold doing that, do you? Give that to me. Straight in the box. Yeah, finish that. Oh, someone had to be at the end of that. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, ref, you're paid! Is that Anthony Taylor? But wait, what? What do you mean? And even in the face of blatant corruption, we're moving on to the next round. And into the starting 11 for our next Premier League match against the freshly promoted Bournemouth. Now Chelsea will start finally winning. You would imagine so, right? You wonder we got the worst attack in the league. Oh my god, we suck! Bro, we suck! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! We just lost 3-0 to Bournemouth. And I've lost my starting position. With this hot run of form, we were ready to face yet another third division club, the Wicked Wanderers, in the next round of the EFL Cup, where we have been subbed on to change the course of the game. I'm sure we won't concede, concede three goals a game. And deep into the penalty area. And there it is! I, I've been on for like 10 seconds! And it is at this time, chat made me aware of some unsettling news. Kukureya curse is real. <laughs> I'm starting to think there might be a Kukureya curse. The Kukureya curse is an ancient folklore that attempts to explain how that every time Mark Kukureya steps onto the pitch, his team immediately begin losing. However, this sort of urban myth is unhealthy towards our Ballon d'Or ambitions, and it must be snuffed out. Yes! 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 Go Kukura! You animal! With that recovery, we now have to prevail in a good old fashioned penalty shootout. You might not even shoot. No, no, no. Trust, boys, trust. Bucks should definitely shoot him. Nicholas Jackson, no way he misses. He missed. What do you think? He's got this one sorted. He's, he's missed as well. I'm sure we'll save these two goals here. I'm not even worried about it. And there we have it. They've stamped their ticket for the next round. With the poor man's treble in the bin so early on in the season, we needed to steer the ship in the right direction. So we got straight to work in the training ground and earned ourselves a prime 80 overall rating. Needless to say, this would help us in our Premier League ambitions. That is, unless you still absolutely suck. But hey, at least this career is realistic. Early on in the season, we were in trouble. No one would ever give their Ballon d'Or vote to a bench player of a mid-table club. So now it was crucial for Mark to start showcasing his abilities and begin beating good clubs. Still needing to beat a good club, we head to Man City. We might not have the manpower that Man City have, but I'll tell you what we do have. The power of friendship. I couldn't save us with the power of friendship. Still unable to beat any respectable teams, we turn our focus to the FA Cup. The most historic cup in English football, and the most important cup to win to keep Mark's Ballon d'Or hopes alive. And alive they were, after a comfortable victory in the first round against Crystal Palace, and then again in the next round against Leeds United. However, in these games, we were unable to make Mark stick out above the rest. But what better way to prove your quality than starting against Liverpool at Anfield, one of the most iconic stadiums in the game. Go watch me put the clamps down on um, Mo Salah. Oh, oh, hang on. Shit, shit. 
Shit. Oh, wow. Oh. So when it's going to become the old Chelsea again now, we know that Mark's back in the starting lineup. This curse was proving to be a lot harder to shake than I would have liked. Just over halfway through the season, we had Chelsea sitting in 8th place on the Premier League table, which realistically... It's not looking good, Bev. So the small amount of hope I had left, I took to Stamford Bridge for the FA Cup. <laughs> Playing against the second division Cardiff City actually looked like we were in control, but more importantly, Mark was shining bright on the left side of the pitch, grabbing the win and the man of the match. With momentum on my side, the next round of the cup couldn't come fast enough. The now 82 overall Mark Kukurea and his astonishingly mediocre Chelsea side were able to just barely edge Bristol City and to move on to the semi-finals. The grass was beginning to look a little greener as we had a nice easy run of games in the league to build some more momentum. She feels the right one. Oh my god! Oh, no way! At the end of the day, it's going to be tough to win the Ballon d'Or when you're getting packed in by Sheffield United. Which is exactly why the semi-final match against Arsenal in the FA Cup is so important. And in the 90 minutes of regulation, we were able to lock down the goal-scoring threat of Bukayo Saka and head into extra time, tied up nil all. But it was only a matter of time until the infamous Kukurea curse grabbed hold of the game. Oh my god! We were what is this crumble? And that is how our hopes and dreams end. Having now been eliminated from all competitions, the dream of winning the Ballon d'Or was mere fantasy. Despite the horror show that was our first season, Mark's efforts had not gone unnoticed, as he had been awarded a place in the Premier League team of the tournament as the best left back in England. Surely clubs must be lining up for miles to sign him. We can't go to Atletico Madrid. We can't go to Manchester United. We can't go to Napoli. We can't go to Fulham. We can't go to Juventus. And then not even Chelsea wanted him. Okay, we gotta go out and loan. We have to. The f is this? Why are you loaning me out to Cork City? Ah! We have taken great strides forward to becoming the next Ballon d'Or candidate by signing with Cork City. You know what? I'm sure playing in Ireland won't even be that bad. Turns out, it was just unfathomably depressing. You know, back in the day, I was playing Liverpool. Now I'm playing Dundalk. I was bought for 60 million one year ago. You don't think his career could go worse? I mean, uh, no, you probably can't. Unless he gets, um, Chipped off to Punjab FC. And it was quite clear that drinking my sorrows away with gallons upon gallons of Guinness was starting to affect my mental health. I hate you! I hate every single one of you! I hope you all get syphilis and die for the bubonic plague. I don't think you quite understand how f***ing bad this is. That was until the single happiest moment of my life happened right before my eyes. I skipped it one day. Oh my god, thank you. Kukurea had been recalled from his loan at Cork City after playing just nine games. But little did we know, the Cork City crisis of 2024 had attracted the eye of the Spanish national team, who promptly inserted Mark straight into the starting left-back position for a match against the Czech Republic. This was the opportunity that we had been waiting for, a prime opportunity to showcase our Ballon d'Or skills. However, there was a small problem. The Kukurea curse. Czechoslovakia a country? Well, it doesn't matter. We're getting shit on by them. Can we win games? Like, is that something Mark Kukurea can do? Is, or is he destined to curse every team he touches? And the curse was not going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, I'm dying of boredom out here. Nothing's happening. Trying his luck. What a lovely strike! Oh, it's about to be 5 1. Kipper. Billing. <laughs> Having most likely been banned from the Spanish squad for all eternity, the goal was now clear. Win the poor man's treble by any means necessary. Which starts with a win in the first round of the EFL Trophy against Manchester United. And not even in my wildest dreams could I have imagined that we would play so spectacularly in such an important game. You know, I just think Man United just suck a wee bit more than Chelsea. So I don't think we need to play the rest of this Carabao Cup game. We don't need it. We don't need to be here. Mike's got it under control. What? <laughs> what? That is 
the most spectacular Cucurella curse I think I've ever seen in my life. With the Carabao Cup in the bin yet again, we could focus on the poor man's double. In the Premier League, it looked as though we might actually have a shot this season. And with an 84 overall, Mark Cucurella holding down the back line and dishing out assists, we were actually beating good teams, including taking Manchester City to the Mark Cucurella clinic. Perhaps the Cucurella curse is over, because after 15 games, we're at the top of the table. And now, there was only one true test to see if the Cucurella curse has finally passed. We must play Bournemouth. Well, Derek, they're in a poor position at the moment. What do you mean a poor position? We're literally in first place. I mean, maybe, maybe you know something. He was right. I apologize. We may be in first in the league, but we still cannot beat Bournemouth. Uh, no, 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 trust, 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 trust. Go on. Oh my God, he scored! He scored! Marco Moreira scored! Are you kidding me? Bournemouth can stop this man. Go Jackson. Go Jackson. Finish. Finish. What? Now say what you will about drawing one all against Bournemouth, but that is improvement. With the Bournemouth test coming up inconclusive, maybe Anfield can give us our answer. And by God did it answer it. Look out Derek Charles here. Chance here! Then Marcus Ray has scored again! Mark is absolutely tearing it up this season and is in legitimate Bellin d'Or form. You wait for Team of the Year 2024 announced. Defenders, Davies, Van Dyke, Kunde, White. This sort of disrespect would not stand, and unfortunately for Watford, they are bearing the brunt of a deadly and dangerous Mark Kukurea in the first round of the FA Cup. One more, one more. He'll do it himself! Who's gonna stop this man? And apparently, Watford could stop him after sealing a draw and forcing a replay to determine who goes through to the next round. But we were in no mood for this tomfoolery and went back to putting the nation on notice. Can he convert? Can he convert? Excuse me? You know who that is, right? I think I'm just gonna send him to the end here and I'm sure the Man United situation won't happen again. going through. It does not stop there, because not even Man United could get their grubby little hands on our trophy. Get in the goal! Yes! Yes! That makes it. Five goals in five games for Mark Kukurea. Ten on the season, I believe. Unfortunately, while simulating some games, we picked up a match suspension for our next round of the FA Cup against Petersburg. I'm sure the boys will pull through. Word of our downfall was quickly spreading, even to the deepest, darkest crevices of the footballing world. Punjab FC again! They're coming for us. I won't allow this to happen to you, Mark. We must win the Premier League, or we are finished! No, 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 wait! The curse is over! You can't do this to me! You can't do this to me! Oh, but wait, it's all tied up with one game to go in the season! We could actually win the league! Mark, we can win the Bell and Door! Shit, I accidentally simmed it. <sighs>